done. Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, first of all, be uh, before going to start the lecture, I am going to uh, say students, those students who didn't turn on their uh, cameras, kindly turn it on. And uh, one thing more, uh, your, your mic should be muted. You are not supposed to um, talk until unless I am not going to uh, say any one of you to unmute your mic. And uh, again, uh, Saad, kindly change your name with your own uh, name. So students, here is a chapter number six. That's are the parts of the plants. As we all know that uh, in the previous lecture, we have the there are the we have seen different types of plants. Some are big, small, and uh, each of the flower has uh, each of the plant has flower leaves, roots, flowers. These are the basic parts of the plants, and the uh, these parts according to these parts, the plant is divided into two types, uh, two groups. That are the first one is a root system, second one is a shoot system. Root system is the system, uh, the plant, the part of the plant which is below the ground, which is under the ground, is known as a root system. And the part of the plant which we see uh, from the upward side of the uh, ground or the soil, uh, like we can see stems, flowers, fruits. So this part of the plant is known as a shoot system. Till that we have learned in the previous chapter. So now we are going. Today we are going to uh, move forward. That is our root. Root, as we all know, that the plant is uh, has two main parts. So first main part of the plant is the root system. So as you all know, that roots are of two types. So how many uh, roots give basically support to the plant? And they are the two basic types of the root, uh, roots. First is a tap root. And second root name is a fibrous root. These are the two basic types of root. Some in some plants, the uh, there is a tap root. And students, you eat most of the uh, uh, vegetables like carrot, like uh, radish, turnip. So these uh, vegetables are basically roots. So the type of root in these vegetables are they are the tap root. So these. Uh, in these two uh, plants, like carrot, turnips, and uh, radish, in their uh, food is we eat the roots of these plants. So these roots of these plants are known as a tap root. In these tap roots, all the nutrients are uh, stored in it, and we add it at the uh, form of vegetables. So these are the types of roots. So now we will read it. What are these roots? First one is tap root. It has a main root and many small roots growing from it. In the previous picture, you have seen there is any tiny roots are further growing. I am going to move it back so you can see it clearly. Here is a. This is a main root, and from this main root you have seen there are many tiny roots are further going so the main root is there and from this main root you have seen there are many tiny so these ro roots are long and sturdy sturdy means very strong so these roots are very long and very strong so uh, again, I have given you the example, the radish, the beetroot, the carrot. We eat, they all are the examples of the tap roots. These all plants are the examples of the tap roots. So next are the fibrous root. Fibrous root uh, is different from the tap root. There are many bunch like, bunch of small thread like roots which grow from the soil. You have seen there is so many roots are further growing. You have seen, this is a picture of a rice plant and the rice plants have the fibrous roots. So we eat rice, wheat and corn. So these plants are having the fibrous root. Again, I'm repeating uh, from, from the first picture. In the taproot, there is a one main root. 
so from where many small branches are um, of uh, roots are further growing there in the fibrous root there are bunch of thread like structures you have seen these are look like a thread so these thread like structures uh, roots further more growing uh, in the soil so these are the fibrous root next importance of root why the roots are important first of all they are important as they uh, we fix the plant to the soil whenever we are going to grow a plant we are first we dig the soil hum soil ko pehle usko khodte hain uske andar we are then we are going to put a seed on it and after that seed there is a small plant is further growing and when the plant is further growing their roots are going to penetrate it in the soil so these roots helps fix uh, helps a plant to fix into the soil then the second major function of the root is to absorb water and the nutrients all the nutrients that was required by a plant is given by these roots to the plant um, that are by essentials and the water as you all know that we always give water uh, in the soil or in the ground of the plant we are not giving water to the leaves to the stem to the fruit we whenever we are someone is going to give water to the plants they add water in their soil or in the ground so from these ground these roots are uh, helping in absorbing all the water and all the nutrients that are present in the water to the uh, so, and uh, they can uh, further move towards the stem so some roots store food the those example of roots which store food are the carrots the radish the turnips the beetroot these are the examples of roots which stores the food so uh, in uh, this picture you have seen that potatoes are uh, growing under the uh, soil as we have read that the part of the plant which is under the ground is known as the root system so um, students potato is only that plant who is not a root but it grows under the ground it is not a root it is a stem here in only in the potatoes the food store in the form of the stem and potato is a stem not a root next are the stems so what are the stems as you all know that the part of the plant which grow above the soil we have read it in the uh, shoot system in shoot system there are leaves buds flowers fruits so the part of the plant which is above the ground is no uh, from which the plant is becoming further grow is known as basically the stem and in the stem there are many branches branches mean the small stems then the leaves are going to grow then buds flowers and the fruits these are the parts which grow further on these stems and here is we are one by one we have uh, discussed the stem of each of these different types of plants we have seen in our surroundings first one of the stem of a tree here is a stem of a tree where i move my cursor students you can see that it's very hard and thick so this is a stem of a tree and stem of a tree is also known as the trunk so we whenever someone is saying that it's a trunk of a tree to means they are saying that this is a stem of a tree so it is very hard all the furniture uh, all the furniture doors uh, that is made from wood come of these woody plants so next are the shrubs as you all know that shrubs are the are not bigger than the trees they are smaller than the trees or so their stems how they this this is a stem of a shrub you can see very clearly in your uh, picture that they are uh, very hard and the woody stems shrub are not bigger than like a tree they are uh, smaller than the tree but they like trees they are hard and the woody stems but the trees have thick stem but in shrubs they are having thin stems this is a major difference between shrub and a tree next is a herb this is a uh, stem of a herb you can see is in the red arrow this is a stem of a herb 
her the stem of a herb is very soft and weak as you student all know that we eat most of the vegetables in the form of herb like you all eat spinach spinach kehte hain palak ko jo aap log khate hain phir iske sath you use coriander coriander kehte hain dhaniya ko you also use it in your uh, uh, food then the mint so these are all the herbs you eat in uh, we eat so this stem of this this is a stem of a herb and so this herb is very uh, stem of herb is very soft and weak so here is a stem of a climber as you uh, this is not a stem this is a spot as you all know that climber cannot stand on its own climbers are those plants which cannot grow for its uh, of its own until unless they are not provided by a spot so here is a wooden spot was given there wooden stick spot was given there and you can see they are very tiny these are the very tiny weak stems of a climber so when these climb these stems are further grow turn and twist they turn and twist on the wooden log on a wooden piece and then they are further grow next are the here is a stem of a creepers as you all know that creepers are also having a weak stems and they grow along the ground wo zameen pe jitne bhi creepers hote hain wo zameen pe grow karte hain the examples of creepers are uh, the pumpkin the uh, watermelons these are the creepers the climbers are the grape vine pea vine the money plant these are the climbers herbs i told you this spinach uh, the mint the coriander these are the herbs so shrubs in shrubs you have seen the rose plants the sunflower the cotton plants so these all are the uh, small shrubs and trees you have seen in your own surroundings there are so many trees like mango trees coconut trees uh, these people tree so there are different types of tree in your uh, surroundings you have seen and each of these stems the stem of a tree is different the stem of shrub is different herb climbers and creeper all of these are having different type of stems next you can see students when they cut the stem of a tree jab wo furniture banane ke liye carpenter jo hai वो स्टेम जब कट करता है तो इन द स्टेम ऑफ अ ट्रंक देर आर मैनी रिंग्स यू हैव सीन देर आर मैनी स्मॉल स्मॉल रिंग्स आर देर फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग हेयर फ्रॉम द मिडिल पॉइंट टू द एंड ऑफ द स्टेम यू हैव सीन देर आर रिंग्स आर गोइंग टू मेड इसके ऊपर स्टेम के ऊपर रिंग बनी हुई है इन साइड द स्टेम सो देर इज आर रिंग्स आर गोइंग टू मी मेड एंड वन रिंग so here is a one beginning ring so this one ring shows the age of a tree like you can grow uh, yearly one by one step uh, like some students are of 10 years old some are 13 years old some grow more than more than so the, uh, like this how we can uh, calculate the age of a tree it's indicate when they cut the st- uh, trunk of a tree in the trunk inner side of a trunk there are many small small rings are further grown so these rings one ring shows one year like uh, when now for example the student who is having birthday on july on the next july he is uh, growing one more year old so like these rings tell us how old that the tree is so then the uh, for knowing the actual age of the tree they count these rings and then they know that how old that the tree is so these rings are, are very helpful they uh, they tell us the age of the tree next uh, stems why uh, stems are important because they support the branches branches are the small st- um, stems on which the leaves are grown the fruits are grown and the uh, flowers are grown so stem carries water and nutrients as you all know that we give water to the root hum pani root mein dete hain and then root push this water upwards towards the stem aur yahan se stem mein aata hai carries water and all the nutrients which was absorbed by the root root ne jitna pani aur nutrients absorb ki wo aage further kahan pe transport hota hai that was given to the stem so uh, then as 
so you all know that the food is going food of our plant is going to prepare in the leaf so these stems also carry the food water and the nutrients which are uh, helps in the growth of our plant so some stems store food which stems store food any one of you can give me the example as i told you in the uh, beginning there is one stem we eat a lot of in one stem lot of food was stored yes mahat you are going to tell us which stem is this we eat like a vegetable and in this stem the nutrients are stored do not look towards your own book in the start i have given you uh, a, an example of a plant which is actually not a root it's a stem but it grows under the soil any one of you is going to tell me that whose plant is this yes maha mahat and samaha any one of you ashajiha sad do you know the answer uh, it means to say that you are not listening uh, me properly danya yes you know the answer yes mahat kindly unmute yourself yes mahat tap root no uh, no no uh, these are the types of root but i said that there is a one root that uh, there is a one plant okay imtishal and ifham uh, both were raising their hand so moving forward to them yes imtishal and ifham kindly unmute yourself in which term uh, store food we eat uh, okay I, i will give you a little hint we eat the fries of it ab hum kiske fries khate hain potato yes potato so potato is a stem uh, where all the food is going to store and i told you in the earlier that's why you are not listening to me properly this is a biggest okay so moving forward to the next to words are reading i'm going to students now you can unmute by yourself i am going to ask i am going to tell the name of a student and you are going to mute yourself and then continue reading from teacher aap listening lengi yes continue reading from page number 40 the first student is mahat yes mahat continue from page 40 40 root yes root there are two types of root tap root and fiber roots tap root fibrous root fibrous root tap root the tap root has a ma main root and many small roots growing from a tap root are long and sturdy beans sturdy means strong beans yes hibiscus hibiscus, hibiscus is a plant and tomato plant has tap root fiber root fiber root fibrous root fibrous root fibrous root are a bunch of small thread like tight like root thread like thread like roots which grow into the soil corn wheat and rice plants have fibrous root import okay mahad okay mahad next uh, imtishal is going to continue from the importance of food that is on page number 30 where is your book imtishal i have not book where is your book 
in the school mail and you have sent your book to the school for checking yes miss okay so now you can listen the lecture and when uh, on i think so you can get your books back on tuesday so from you are just going to attend the lecture and uh, after tuesday you are going to note it down side by side on your books okay okay teacher okay teacher and next we are moving towards a uh, azayan so yes i am continue from the importance of fruit you can unmute your mic by yourself unmute bolo unko zor se bolna importance of fruit fruits fix the plant to the soil they also absorb water and nutrients from the soil some roots store food prepared by the plant for example radish carrot and turnip 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 okay. read do you know that is on uh, light and dark purple bolo bolo do 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 potato grows under the ground it is not a root it is a stem okay thank you zayan so on page number 41 there is a now you know that is visible on your screen take a pencil in your hand and you are going to fill it on your books first one is that root absorb water and dash from the soil first one in first plan you are going to write down the nutrients second one has a dash roots have a main root and many small roots growing from it they are the tap roots corn plants have dash roots that are the fibrous roots again i am repeating on the in the first plan the answer is nutrient and the second tab third one fibrous as a next student who is continue reading from this stamp is samaha samaha you can unmute yourself yes teacher unmute yourself and continue from this stamp Samaha, continue reading from stamps. Is it done? Okay, Mahat. I don't know where Samaha is, so we are moving forward to the Daniel. Yes, Anya, unmute yourself. Yes, continue from the stems. The stem grow above the ground. Branches, leaves, bung, buns, flower, and root grow on the stem. 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 Oh, we are. Think at heart, and heart. These are called trunks. Neem, mango, and banana. Tree no, no, it's it's banyan, banyan trees. Banyan, banyan. Please 
Daniel, the word is stem, not steam. Stem. Stem. Of shrubs. That grow from or near the ground. Thank you, Daniel. Next student who is continue is Saad. Teacher. Yes, Amaha. Teacher, I would pass now. Okay. Uh, after that, Saad will continue. Samaha, you can continue now. Stem of stem uh -huh. of. First of all, we do you know? Okay. Samaha, we do you know? We are having only 10 minutes, students. So, do you know the box that is in purple, light, and dark purple? Do you know? The tree trunks have rings inside. Each ring shows one air growth. You can count the rings and know how old. The tree is so plant shrub. Stem, stem or shrub. Stem or shrubs are soft and we some plant with three stem like stem like tree and. Money plant. Money plant at least support. Yes. They are called spore to climb. They oh. are called cli uh, climbers. Okay, thank you, Samaha. Saad, continue where Samaha left. Mm -hmm. Fasad, unmute yourself. Yes. I am unmuted. You are not looking. Some other like. You are not looking towards your book. So, Danya will continue where uh, Samaha slept. Sir, look at your book. Yes, Dania. Sir, now look at your book properly. The tree trunk has. Do you know? No. No, Dania is also not listening. Samaha, Samaha has left where the word climber was written on the board she has read till yet so you are going to continue from the next word some others like pumpkin page number page number 41 the last paragraph And the last four line, big end of the last four line. The last some, four line. Yes, okay. some other. Some of herbs are soft and. No, no, no. I say last four lines. Some others like pumpkins. You are going to read from here. Yes, pumpkins. And watermelon. Danya, there is too much distortion from your side. So we are moving towards Saad again. Yes, Saad. Now you know where uh, Samaha has left. Okay. The pumpkin. The pump. 
21. Yes, continue from the pumpkin and watermelon. Okay. Stamp of herb are soft and weak. Sad last four line. Sad last four line. Some others, like pumpkin and watermelon plants, run along the ground. They are known as creeper. So now turn the page number forty-two, and then you are going to read the importance of stem. The stem for plants which flowers and fruits. But stem carries water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to other to other parts of the plant. The stem also carries fruit made by the leaves, leaves to all other parts of the plant. Stems of some plants like potato and sugarcane. Stored food carried by the plant. Okay, till yet we are going to do reading and students take out uh, your books. Uh, open the page number forty six. Here is a task. You are going to do it on your books. Keep the pencil in your hand. Uh, here you are going to find the parts of a plant in the word search. This is our word search. <laughs> All these words are given there. You are going to Did find out here. Forty-six. Did you count the page? Forty-six. Okay, done. So uh, you are going to find uh, find a part of a plant. A student with student on their mic, and there is uh, too much distortion at that side. So uh, here is you are find these parts of plant in the word search here. This is a yellow box. All the words are given there. You are looking down vertically like this, in, in this form, and horizontally like this form. First word is root. Can anyone student tell me where is the word root was written there? I am okay, I am going. I am going to make my arrow there. Here is a root. You can see clearly in the second line. R double O T root. This is a root. Done. And from the second word shoot. So in the end of this T, you can see S H double O T shoot. Here is a shoot. S H double O T shoot. I am going to make my cursor over there. जहाँ जहाँ word है मेरा cursor वहाँ वहाँ ही move कर रहा है student. So you can see it clearly. This is a shoot. Next word is stem. Yes, I have. Have you seen the stem? Oh yes, I like find it. Teacher, yes. I find it. Okay, right. You can tell us where is the stem. Unmute yourself, teacher. This. Where, yeah. where? The last line, first four letters. In last line, first four letters. No, 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 no. Right. Here is a stem. Good. Good, right? And next here is a stem. So next, who is going to tell me where is the branches? किसी को branch word मिला? I know. Where? Where? Teacher, I know. Teacher, I know. Here, here. Yeah, here. Here, 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 here.
Here is our flower. Did you circle it? Yes, circle it. Children, few circle seconds are left. I have done it. Okay, so next one are the fruit. Here is our fruit. In the second line, it was written horizontally. F R U I T fruit. Next uh, is a leaf. Yeah, I and know. here is a leaf in the third the line. Leaf. And last one is a bird. So here is a bird. As a student, few minutes are there. I hope everyone has find these eight words. Yes. 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 So next here is your homework in our next <coughs> Tuesday class. Those students who are in this week is your copy checking week, so you are all having the notes. So those students who have given their books, so वो skip कर देंगे now you know उसको वो